Hi, I'm Dr. Scholz. I want to give you an update on a couple new drugs that just came out for advanced prostate cancer. This is pretty exciting stuff. There aren't that many active agents for men with advanced hormone refractory prostate cancer. Zofigo, chemotherapy, taxotere jeftana type stuff. Of course, the old standards, Lupron, and then the very exciting second generation hormonal agents like uh, Extandis, Cytiga, Erlita, and Nubeca. We also have Provenge, which is an immune medicine. But men with advanced hormone refractory prostate cancer really need help. A lot of these things run out of effectiveness, and if you've gone through three or four of these, you're starting to run out of choices. So these new medicines are pills. One is called uh, Rucaparib, the other one is called Olaparib. Coincidentally, they both got FDA approved exactly the same week, and that was just last week. So we're at a, um, it's really a breakthrough. Breakthrough for uh, men with advanced disease to have brand new medicines that work by a brand new mode of action. So what that means is that if they've developed resistance to one type of therapy, they're likely to get a benefit with this other type of therapy. So, well, what are they and what do they do? Elaparib and Rucaparib work by blocking an enzyme called PARP. PARP is the enzyme that helps repair DNA. Men that have a genetic abnormality in their um, DNA reconstructive enzymes are, uh, have these, that have these mutations called BRCA, uh, don't repair their DNA as effectively. Well, the cancer cells inherit that same gene, and if you give these PARP inhibitors, such as rucaparib and olaparib, it further makes it more difficult for the DNA to repair in the cancer cells when they try and replicate. And so these PARP inhibitors are selectively causing the cancer cells to have trouble replicating, whereas the normal cells in the body, uh, which aren't replicating as quickly, can um, tolerate these medicines uh, better than the cancer cells are able to tolerate it. Uh, these medicines are um, only going to be effective in men that have a certain type of genetic mutation called BRCA. And uh, these medicines work in those individuals. And I think it's about 20 to 25 percent of men that have these types of mutations when they become hormone refractory. So not everyone is going to benefit at least with coverage. It's actually not proven that you have to have this mutation to benefit. Some men will probably respond without these mutations. But right now, I think insurance is only going to cover men that have these specific mutations. So how do you find out if you have the mutation? Pretty much it's just a simple blood test. Uh, Garden 360, Foundation One, other companies have different types of blood tests that will tell you if you have the BRCA mutation. So when do you use these medicines? Well, they're probably only going to be covered by insurance in men that have had a second generation hormone already, Xtandis, Atiga, Nubeca, or Lita, and have stopped responding. So we're talking about hormone refractory, but also to the second generation agents. And I believe that is the setting where you're going to get insurance coverage, and these no doubt are going to be expensive. What kind of side effects do these things have? Um, Think of a mild type of chemotherapy, uh, not an injected type, but a, a pill. And uh, these medications, which are taken twice a day, we're going to cause some fatigue, maybe some anemia, possibly for other low blood counts, low white count, uh, low platelet counts. Uh, generally, they've been pretty well tolerated. There have been some rashes, occasionally some irritation of the liver. People have to be monitored, but the quality of life will be good and it is definitely extending life, causing the cancer cells to regress, uh, making PSAs decline. So brand new medicine for prostate cancer, totally new independent mechanism of action, and it is going to be on the market. It is already on the market, and this uh, will be covered by insurance companies. So uh, this is very good news for prostate cancer patients who have advanced disease.